John chapter 11, verse 23 to 27 reads, And Jesus said to her, Your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whosoever believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And everyone who lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord. I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of the living God, who is coming into the world, the Word of God, to the people of God. And I say peace to you, my family in Christ. I give God praise for another day, another opportunity where we could come in his presence, in prayer, in deed, in worship and adoration for what he has done. And we declare today that the resurrection is both an event and a person. Mara accepted that the resurrection is only an event, but doubt that it was the person, Christ the King of glory. And if there's any doubt today, we believe that Christ is both the event and the person. We can only go as far as our faith will take us. What we believe, only through and by the mercies of God can we go further. In the midst of that doubt, Christ, the King of glory, took them further. When he called out their brother's name and their brother responded, Jesus says, Lazarus, come forth. Today he is calling our name. He's speaking to our situations and circumstance. But we must believe because he is both the resurrection and he is the life. Lazarus heard, even though he was dead, buried in the grave, God showed that he has power, ultimate power over death, hell, and the grave. He said, this is done for the glory of God, that he may find faith in the earth. We hear in Hannah's prayer, 1 Samuel 2, verse 6. This is what Hannah says. The Lord brings death and makes alive. He brings down to the grave and raises up. That's the word of the Lord. And I love what Jesus indicated in John 10, 17 and 18. For this reason, the Father loves me, because I lay down my life that I may take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay down of my own accord. I have authority to lay down, and I have authority to take it up again. This charge I have received from my Father. The word of God to the people of God. Let's go today, this week, which is the devil's defeat, believing that our God is the resurrection and he's the life. Any situation that is dead, the word of God has already spoken to it. We just need to believe and receive of God. God is life. And in him, there is no shadow of turning. There's no death. And we must believe and trust his word today. And God will perform. Whether we believe it or not, it is the word of the living God. And it's best 
that we believe. It's best that we receive. And so as believers today, let's declare, let's decree the word of the Lord. I am the resurrection and the life. Father, we thank you that your word has come to heal us. That your word has come to bring us back wherever we may be, how deep, how tied up, how bound, how oppressed, how depressed. Your word has come to bring life to us today. And so we receive in the name of the Father so that there may be faith in the earth, so that your glory may be revealed. I give you thanks for that situation and that circumstance that your word is applied to even today. And others will see, believe, accept, rejoice, and further declare what God is doing. And so I give you praise today that your word has come to us, that you reveal yourself to us today, who you are. Though we weep, though we mourn, though we are sad, oh God, when we believe all things are possible. And so I thank you today. I thank you for restoring. I thank you for healing. I thank you for raising up again. I thank you for causing us to be the head and not the tail, above and not beneath. We give you praise and we are lenders and not borrowers because of your word. Those who are weak can declare they are strong. The poor can declare that they are rich because what you've done and you went down in the grave and you got up, hallelujah. And today you forever live to make intercession for us. Let those who lead the nations believe. Bring our prime minister and all of parliament, their families, may they believe today and trust in the living God who was dead, but now he's alive. He's alive forevermore. Those who lead today, we commend to you. Those who lead in the body of Christ, we give you praise and we will do that which is right and righteous even now declaring your word and living out the principles of the gospel of the kingdom of God. We give you thanks. Thank you for the peace of Jerusalem. The families everywhere today. Be exalted in us. Be Lord, be lifted in us right now. In the name of the Father, we give you praise and of the Son. For every family today, we pray for that mom, that dad, who may be struggling, challenged, even at home that is happy and pleasant, we command to you today that your will be done. So as we lead to go forth, we will go forth in the power of your word to conquer, to overcome, to indeed be victorious. We thank you right now and we believe your word. Thank you for that encounter today. Hallelujah. Thank you for that encounter today as we look forward to you in expectation and anticipation of your power. And we give you praise. In Jesus' name and for his sake. Amen. God bless you today. Let's trust the living God. He is the resurrection. He is the life. We must believe this. And he will bring it to pass. Have a great day in the Lord. Amen. Amen.